Hi, this is Smoke Master D coming at you with another episode of Barbecue Buyer's Guide, this time to the cheapest quarter inch offsets. Please stay all the way to the end where I'll reveal the true secret to the cheapest quarter inch offset. All right, so we got our basic offset smoker, and this is how it works. The air goes into that intake damper and fuels a fire that's either going to be charcoal or wood right there in the firebox. And then the heat and smoke is going to go into that cooking chamber where there's going to be food on that grate. And then it's going to go out that smokestack and pass the exhaust damper there. All right, we've got the expensive offset smoker versus the cheap one. Now, the expensive is going to be fully welded and the cheap one is going to be bolted together. And that's going to make it so there's going to be seams that are going to lose heat. Then the expensive offset smoker is going to have quarter inch steel or thicker. And that's going to be three gauge or less. And we're going to remember that gauges get thicker the lower the number is. Then on the other side, we're generally going to have an eighth of an inch steel or thinner. And that's going to be 11 gauge or more. All right. And lastly, most have a high standard of construction, the EOSs. And um, they're usually made in the United States. Um, but the cheap offset smokers are usually built in another country um, and are shipped from that country. And that's Really, the main reason why they have to be bolted together is so that they can fit in their shipping containers. All right, and here's a map of the United States and where these locations are for the companies. Uh, and that's going to be a very important part in how much you might be paying for one of these smokers. And the reason for that is when you have um, something with quarter inch steel, it's going to be heavy. So the shipping has to play a part in how much they charge you for it. Um, so if you live right next to one of these places, uh, you can probably get a much better deal on an expensive offset smoker. So you're going to see uh, at the top there, we've got the Yoders in Hutchinson, Kansas. Perry, Oklahoma is the, the home of Horizon Smokers. Then in Houston, we have the Texas Original Barbecue Pits. As far as I know, you can't buy directly from their factory, but they have dealers right there in Houston that will give you that discount um, based on not having to ship it. Uh, and we'll we'll look at that in the next slide also. And lastly, we have Old Country Barbecue. Their headquarters are in Laredo, Texas, but their, their factories are actually in Mexico. And part of that is going to make it so you might not be able to get that discount for uh, the shipping but they have some stuff about them that's that makes their products cheaper anyway and we'll go into that in a second right and uh just to give you an idea of of the difference we have the luling 20 loaded on um the texas original barbecue pits website and it is almost twenty six hundred dollars um and then you have the dealer there and you see in the bottom right that that's just uh 19.99 so and that's so that's a difference of six hundred dollars. They say free shipping there. Um, no, the the shipping is built into the price that they're giving you on their website. So just know that. All right, so we're going to start off with Old Country Barbecue Pits. Uh, apparently, they were established in 1955. I think that they were selling mostly farm equipment then. I'm not sure when they made their first smoker, um, but. The Brazos that we have over there for $9.99.99 at Academy Sports is a, a very popular smoker um, as far as quarter inch offsets go. Um, they do, however, sell three more uh, styles of quarter inch offsets from their website. They didn't have pictures for all of them. They only had that picture there. Um, I've asked for um, more pictures and more information. Uh, and maybe I'll be able to do another episode just on Old Country Barbecue Pits. But for now, we're only going to have the Brazos on the list because that's the one that I have the most information for. Uh, so we're going to go on. And this is another Old Country Barbecue Pits. Uh, it's kind of exciting. The Brazos DLX. Um, you see the picture there is not very good. Uh, as of yet, they've only come out with the thumbnail for their advertisements. So that's that thumbnail picture blown up a little bit, um, but it's going to probably be coming out in April. So uh, maybe we'll have some more information by then. And it's going to be only about $200 more than the Brazos. 
and it's going to give you the counterweight, the heavy duty cold grate, tuning plates, and a drain valve. This is really something that they're aiming at um, the mid mid level um, premium smokers like the Horizon uh, RD20 and the um, the loaded Wichita. Uh, so um, and and it's much cheaper than those two smokers. So the Brazos DLX, uh, I think it's about to make a big splash in the market. Now, how do they do it? You see that website right there? That is a website that's going to tell you all of these things. Uh, they, they're much cheaper than their competitors because they shear uh, the metal off and roll it around and then weld it to make their, their pipes. So they can use that technique to make different uh, thicknesses of steel. And you're going to notice on all of their smokers that there's a big, huge weld line right down the barrel. And that's not a problem or anything. Everybody else, pretty much, um, they cast the pipe and then they cut it. So you're not going to see that weld. Uh, there's not really a big difference in that, as far as I know. Um, for number two, they have different people work on different parts at the same time. So kind of the assembly line method, purchase materials in bulk. So they get discounts there. Um, the whole Mexico thing, like we discussed. And you can see there's their store and headquarters and there's the Rio Grande, and there's Mexico. And what do you know? There's an Academy Sports right down the road. And then lastly, uh, smaller margins, more units sold. They are, are basically the McDonald's of the quarter inch offset world. Um, and you know, if you like McDonald's, then it's a great thing. Pros and cons of the old country barbecue pits. More bang for your buck. Wide ranges of sizes, below $1,500. The smokestack is at great level, if you think that's better. Now, I've looked into this, and as far as I can tell, it's, it's not really a big game changer. They say that it cuts out hot spots in your grill, but I've watched many YouTube videos about people adding tuning plates to their old country barbecue pits, so I don't really buy that. Free shipping from factory. Now that is uh, probably built into the price too. You know, it's just cheaper, so it seems better that way. They're fully functional. They'll do the job despite having uh, all those cost-saving measures. And then uh, the Brazos is the most accessible smoker on this list. All right, and now for cons. The wells are not going to be perfect. There's going to be extra slag here and there. The overall craftsmanship is going to be a little bit lower. Um, they don't have a temp gauge that comes with their smokers. Uh, you're going to have to buy that separately. The uh, hole for the, the temperature gauge might not be exactly correct. You might have to widen it a little bit. It's not as pretty as the other smokers. I've really noticed this on sort of the lids. I noticed that the pipe smokers, they're going to have some really nice lines uh, that just add aesthetic to them that the, uh, the old country don't seem to have. And that, that doesn't take away from the, uh, the job that the old country barbecue pits perform. And lastly, you can't customize these pits. Uh, you buy them as is, and that's basically it. All right, now a warning on the pipe built offsets. They are built to order. So when you buy one, um, you don't know exactly how long you're gonna be waiting, but it's usually probably around two months, could be longer. All right, so the Horizon Smokers, we got the 16 inch classic. Now, that's going to be available at Cabela's or Bass Pro. They're probably going to have to order it for you, but it's going to be $999.99 there, which is a pretty good price uh, for an, a quarter-inch offset. Um, so if you bought it from the factory, it's $8.95 plus shipping. You kind of have to figure out you know, what your proximity is to their factory as to whether it would be cheaper. Um, of course, if you're in driving distance, you, know, you can get it for $8.95. So, um, and you can call the company to ask for the shipping rates. Now that 20 inch, um, I like it because it has a lot more room, but while I was gathering the information on it, uh, I discovered that Cabela's and Bass Pro are no longer carrying it. I'm going to put it in here anyway, just for fun. But, um, yeah, it's 1295 at the factory. Uh, the shipping to me out here in North Carolina is somewhere around 300. So, um, you know, that takes it above the $1,500 uh, threshold that I set for the inexpensive part of this video. Um, but I'm, I'm keeping it on anyway. And uh, that's just how we're going to roll.
right, the pros and cons. Pros. The 16 inch is the cheapest new pipe made offset. Cons. Uh, there's no shelf on the firebox like other makers 16 inches. Uh, I don't think that that's a big deal. And the 16 inch Horizon has a smaller firebox than other uh, pipe made 16 inch smokers, except for the Ranger. Also, you can't customize the pits from Bass Pros or Cabela's. So, you know, it's just what it is. And that is that. And now we're on the Texas original barbecue pits. So we've got that Ranger offset smoker for $12.99.99. And um, we have the Texas original pits.com is where you can get that. And the Luling 16 offset smoker is going to be $14.99.99 on the website and $13.99.99 at Barbecue Guys website. So the Barbecue Guys, they sell pretty much everything from Texas Original Pits. And for some reason, they have it $100 cheaper, this Luling 16. So um, I don't know why that is. Uh, we're gonna talk about even more interesting things about the Lulings here in a second for prices. All right, now pros and cons. Pros. I'm standard with pot warmers. I'm standard with probe port. The Ranger offset can be loaded on a hitch. Now that's an interesting thing. I, I looked for pictures of that and I couldn't find any. If you want to do offset smoking, which usually is a, a longer sort of activity while you're tailgating, I suppose that could be helpful. But you know, for getting around and stuff uh, with that smoker, if, it, if it, you want something that's going to go with you, that could be cool. The website offers a payment plan. Right. The dealers don't have to charge sales tax to out of state buyers. Now that's a really interesting one. So if you live in any of the states bordering Texas and you want an offset smoker, that could be really interesting, you know, going to the dealers there in Houston. So uh, I would definitely take a look at that option. Also, another thing from the dealers, they might have your model in thicker steel for no extra cost. Um, as we know, thicker steel holds better heat. That's what we like. Now the cons. Um, that flat built-in shipping rate. Really, um, you know, that only works for people who are very far away. If you live in Maine, that could work for you, uh, you know. So, um, but if you're close, that could, that could be a real con. It make uh, that that trip down to Texas really worthwhile, even more worthwhile if you can skip on, out on that sales tax. Um, so definitely consider that. And then they're slightly more expensive than others in certain regards. Of course, there's there's a range of prices here, and uh, the standard probe port and, and pot warmers kind of make some things worth it there. So it's all sort of a sliding scale. All right, then we have the Yoder Smokers. And we've got the Cheyenne here. Um, the Charlotte Grill Company has it for $1,075. Grill Billies in Durham, though, has it for $1,199. It really seems like the, um, the dealerships have a lot more sway in how, what gets sold and um, how much they're going to charge for it uh, with the Yoders. Just looking around at their dealerships. Uh, so that's been a little strange. It's um, very different from sort of the other companies in that way. Now, the an even stranger thing is that when I talked to the Charlotte Grill Company, they told me that they had never sold a regular Cheyenne there. They had only ever sold the Cheyenne Loaded. So uh, that comes out to $14.95 there, which is right under our $1,500 threshold. Uh, so, and... You know, it's it's not more than that. They don't add on an extra shipping cost. They are going to get it from the company, though, so it's going to take that time. But yeah, the Cheyenne loaded with the counterweight heat management plate and upper slide out shelf. And so the pros and the cons. Largest 16 inch cook chamber on the list. It's not by much, but it is. Okay, the cons, they currently have a 25 week back up. So that is like almost six months, almost six months um, that you would be waiting for your Yoder if you ordered it right now. I don't know if the pandemic is playing into that. So maybe by the time you watch this video sometime later, that's going to be be down. But yeah, that's a long time. 
All right, now the main cooking grate area in inches squared. So uh, we notice, you know, the Ranger 16 is going to be the smallest there. Horizon 16, a little bit bigger. The um, Horizon 20 is the biggest overall. I really like the uh, the space in that thing, 720. The Luling 16 is 502. The Cheyenne 507, like we said, it's the largest of the 16-inch ones there. And then that Old Country Brazos is going to have 639. Now, remember that the Old Country Brazos has that upper shelf. I've never seen anyone use it in any of the videos that I've watched of people using a Brazos. So I'm not entirely sure how necessary it is. Uh, I'm sure some people must use it. And if we add in the firebox, you're going to see it's the 1618 there for the uh, Ranger 630. Um, so they have a very similar size firebox. That difference is very similar. All right, that Brazos gets a lot more uh, square inch space in the on the fire grate in its firebox than the Horizon 20. I think the Horizon 20's firebox is actually larger though. Um, so I'm not really sure how that works out, how that it has a, a smaller um, grate in the firebox than the Brazos. Um, and the Luling 16 and the Cheyenne, almost neck and neck there. Cheyenne still, you know, just a little bit bigger, but they they are very similar smokers in many ways. All right, and now the estimated price range. So um, some of these prices are estimates. Some of them are right on what they actually would be. So that Ranger 16, I estimated that uh, the dealers would sell it to you for around 1000 um, And it's, of course, $1,299.99 on the website. The Horizon 16, you know, the website price from the company is $895, $999.99 at uh, Cabela's and Bass Pro. And that $1,150 is, um, I think, what they would charge me out in North Carolina if they added in shipping. The Horizon 20, same deal. Um, it's $1,295 at the factory, $1,600 shipped to me um, out in North Carolina. The Luling 16 is $1,155 estimated from the dealership there in Houston. It's, uh, and those two prices up there are the two different websites that sell it. Uh, the Cheyenne, okay, is one thousand seventy-five at the Charlotte Grill Company. Uh, you know, you'd have to take a look at your own dealership to see what the price would be there. Uh, Twelve fifty estimated for shipping out to North Carolina. The Old Country Brazos is nine ninety-nine ninety-nine at I believe at every Academy Sports. So if you live near one of those, um, it was twelve hundred to ship out of out to me. Um, I looked that up on the Academy Sports website. Could be different wherever you're located, uh, depending on the distance of the shipping. And now for the real secret to the cheapest quarter inch offset smoker. All right, and it is the old Oklahoma Joes. Now, the one thing that you're going to want to know is that the one pictured here is not the correct one. Uh, that nameplate you see there that has the outline of the state of Oklahoma. For the correct one, it's going to need to have all of the letters inside of that state outline. Um, also, you're going to want to look at the handle for the lid, um, and it should be welded, I think, completely up and down on those brackets. There's a Reddit thread on this, which explains everything, so you may want to check that out. Now, the story about Oklahoma Joe's is that uh, they used to make quarter-inch offsets, in Perry, Oklahoma. Then the brand was sold to Charbroil in 1997. And after that, uh, Charbroil laid off everybody in Oklahoma and they moved the operation overseas. And then Roger Davidson, who was part of the original Oklahoma Joes, came back, got the band back together, so to say, and started Horizon. Now, Charbroil, to their credit, did try to keep Oklahoma Joes quality high for the first little while before they created the Highland and models that we know today. And that includes this smoker here. Now the firebox is bolted onto uh, the main chamber, but the main chamber is five gauge steel. And as we remember, and as we remember the quarter inch is three gauge. So it's really close. This smoker is actually probably as close to a quarter inch offset you can get without actually being there. 
Now the lid is 11 gauge. Oklahoma Joes that they make today are 13 gauge in all of their steel. So the steel difference is really a big one. And this older Oklahoma Joes from the Charbroil Company is gonna work a lot better than the one that they create today. So, um, and how do you find all these things? You look on places like Facebook Marketplace or um, Craigslist. And if you can find one of the original pre-1997 ones, you know, it's gonna have some rust on it maybe. You might have to get an angle grinder. You might have to get a steel brush. You might have to do some work, but it is the cheapest way to get a quarter inch offset. You fix it up, you get some high heat paint to put on the main chamber outside, not the inside. And then you're going to want to get some oil, some canola oil spray to spray on the inside to season it. Um, and you can have the real cheapest quarter inch offset if you can find one of those. And if you can't, um, you know, this older Oklahoma Joe's from Charbroil is a good second place. Uh, dollar per pound, it is a lot better than their current model. And uh, you can probably find some deals out there. If you're in the Moxville area, um, these pictures came from a guy named Keith. Uh, who allowed me to put him up here. Um, he's selling one for three fifty. dollars uh, It's worth the money. Um, so go check out Keith and get this offset from him. He's been having a little bit of a hard time with the pandemic. Don't lowball him. Give him what it's worth and make some great barbecue on this really good looking pit, which is actually new old stock, um, which means that uh, this was stock left over before they decided to make the Highland. And recently, Oklahoma Joe's decided that they were going to sell all that stock off. So this thing's only been used once. It looks really good, uh, you know, and if you want to give Keith a shout out and, and get this from him, please do. Now, that's everything. Please add your review to the comments. Uh, do you own one of these smokers? Let us know about it. Let people know about it. Which one should they get? Which one's the best? Which one has problems? And everybody have a great day and grill on.